Hello Newcastle fans TV, so Rafa Benitez has been charged by the FA for comments made about a referee pre-match against Preston at St. James Park. Obviously that night we got promoted and the, the scenes were fantastic, but uh, I've got to be honest with you, this is really, really petty from the FA. Very, very low, petty, pathetic, um, lazy is another way that I've described this charge. I mean, we'll put it on screen for you now. This is what he's actually been charged with for what he's actually said. I was really surprised with that situation. In Spain, this thing doesn't happen. So when you have a referee from a city or a team that are more or less close in the table, normally they don't referee those games. We don't have any problem, but we just want to avoid a situation that maybe nobody will understand. We are not normally complaining about referees in press conference or interviews. So to be fair to Rafa, when, he, when he's asked during the season about referees, he kind of dodged the question a little bit. And madly, he was... Um, Put in charge, he was a Huddersfield uh, fan, and obviously Newcastle at the time before the pressing game were going head to head with Huddersfield. Huddersfield had a slight chance of promotion, uh, automatic promotion that was. And to be fair, madly, he was probably one of the best referees I've seen all season against Preston. Yes, we won 4 1, it was handsome and all that, but his performance was spot on because he was another spotlight to perform. Because we've seen with Keith Stroud that horrendous penalty decision was absolutely shocking. He was under serious pressure to perform a referee, and I thought he'd done absolutely fantastic. But this is before the game, and you have to say it's really, really petty by the FA. He's got until the 9th of May, Thursday, the 9th of May, to respond to the charge. Uh, what will probably happen in my eyes is probably get a slap on the wrist, a fine, maybe suspended sen suspended sentence. He's not going to, he's not going to jail. Uh, suspended um, touchline ban. That's what I'm thinking that will happen. Uh, I can't say it being any more that I'd be very, very shocked if, if they were to give him a one-match ban for something soppy, uh, sad, little as this. I have to admit it. I am quite knocked about it. I'm not going to lie to you, but uh, we'll move away from that. Let us know what you think about that. I'm sure you will let. I'm sure you as a lot are going to let me know what you think of the FA in the comments down, down below. Uh, I just want to quickly um, send me wishes to Philippe Albert, who was involved in a crash. You know, I'm sure you use a lot at home, obviously, in the comments will uh, give them a, the well wishes. But uh, uh, it's not nice to see one of our own. Um, Philippe Albert classes himself as a Geordie, despite him uh, running his market back home in Belgium. But thoughts go out to him. Later on today, uh, later on this afternoon, depending on when you're watching this video, we're going to be giving you the Rafa's press conference news, what he's been saying. That's his final pre-match one as well. And, of course, we'll get the preview, the, the first part of the preview where we're looking at the opposition. That'll be coming out later on today as well. So keep an eye out for that as well. If you want to check out more news, of course, we've got Facebook and we've got Twitter, which shows hundreds and hundreds of uh, news articles about Newcastle and news every day. And, of course, we've got the website. There's been a little bit more improvement made on there as well. Thank you very much for your support. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you later.